All right, what's up, everyone? Yeah, so here's the problem. We have a crisis. I have hit 200 subscribers recently, right? And I feel like that's a big enough audience now that I need to refer to you all as something. It might be a singular entity. It might be some plural label. Either way, I'm gonna scour my audience on Instagram to come up with a, a name for all of you who, for whatever reason, choose to watch these videos. So you can head there, Connor Matthew Books on Instagram, if you wanna vote on what I'm, what I'm gonna call you. So let's get down to business. You saw the title. I have some things to show you all today uh, in the form of a book mail. Look at all that. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of shelves, a lot of books back there. Just don't look behind me. Don't look at those, focus on this. Yes, I have not read a lot of those books. And yes, I have acquired a couple more recently. But before you say anything, these some of these were sent to me, okay? I didn't buy all of these. Actually, there's, there's like seven of them and only one was sent to me. But that's besides the point. I just wanna, I just wanna talk about some of these books that I, that I got recently. So let's, let's get to it, okay? All right, so book book number one that we're gonna discuss today uh, was actually sent to me from someone I've been following on, on Instagram for a while. Uh, he's an indie author. He writes uh, mostly horror. He's been featured in a bunch of anthologies and I've sort of followed uh, his journey a little bit since starting my account over there. And he was like, hey, anybody want some some signed copies of my new, my new book? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. Tell me where to sign, you know, take all the money and I, I want one of those copies. Jack Harding was kind enough to send me a copy of his book, Dark Lines gives those Stephen King vibes. It's a fun little paperback that like, I know I love hardbacks. Those are the best for display, but there's something about these smaller paperbacks that just has a very, very large part of my heart. I've heard really great things about this. I'm really excited to read it. He has another collection called uh, Ripper Country, which also looks awesome and I'll probably get at some point, but really happy, really excited to get into this waited for a little bit. It shipped pretty quickly all the way over from the UK. So Jack, thanks for sending this my way. Uh, I really, really appreciate it and I'm excited to read it. And I just keep feeding this obsession of, of the Sandman series. So I had to go on and get the, the next one. I just finished the third Sandman. As you know, from past videos on this channel, I am never shy when it comes to scouring every corner of the internet to find the best deal on used books. And I found a nice used bookseller selling volume number five of The Sandman, A Game of You. So I now have, I think there's another one in this, bo uh, this book mail pile. I think it's number six or seven or something, but A Game of You by Neil Gaiman. There's this nice little young, nice little young face. Uh, I love the Sandman series. I've, I've talked about it enough on this channel. Just read it. If you haven't read graphic novels, read the Sandman. The next piece of book mail. Let's see here. Look at that. Another one of the Sandman. This is number six, 30th anniversary edition. I love them. The really fun part about some of these later anniversary editions is like the forewords or the, the intros, the preface. Uh, they always have different authors sort of give uh, a blurb in the beginning of these. One of them has like Steve Erickson. One of them has, I think, Patrick Rothfuss. One of them has Stephen King. Another one has Clive Barker. And it's really cool to see pretty much some of the authors I love the most talking about this series in such like a reverential and appreciative way because it sort of echoes like how I feel about it. And it's, again, I'll stop talking about the Sandman. It's fine. Just read it. Just, just read it. It's fine. The next book uh, is my current book club book. So if you want to read along with my book club, you can read The Space Between Worlds. I'm not part of book of the month. This was like the August 
2020 book of the month selection. Again, found this for like a couple bucks on the internet and I recently received this. So I'm very excited to read it. It's very like metaverse-y traveling between different worlds and the same person sort of traverses between those different worlds and the other versions of her keep dying in the other worlds and she's kind of trying to figure that out and things are unraveling throughout and uh, it's, it's very, very cool. So I've enjoyed it. Yes, I did just pull a book that I'm currently reading out of a package for book mail effect, but that's, that's just how it goes sometimes, you know? Uh, so yeah, very, very excited to keep reading this, very excited to receive it for my book club book this month. And we have the final, as you listen to this crackle. Yeah, there's three more. Number eight of Sandman. I also ordered number seven, so there would be an extra book here, but uh, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't in stock, so I have to order number seven. But here's number eight of the Sandman. This is just becoming a Sandman video. It's fine, uh, but we'll move on from that. We'll go with the book that was sent to me for free by, I think it's the Hashit Publishing Group. They have an account on Instagram called novel suspects. They have some recent releases that they wanted to send me, and this is one of them. I think the other two are probably still floating around in the mail somewhere, but Child Zero is one of the books they sent over to me, so thank you so much again. Child Zero. Lots of uh, thriller type things. We have blurbs from Lee Child. I think it's about like pandemic related stuff, so not great timing, but still excited to read Child Zero. We will move to the final book here. This is one that I've been really excited to read. As I said in my previous video, I'm on a huge fantasy kick recently, and this one stuck out to me right away. I was like, I need to read this book. So the final book of the book mail haul for today is Legends and Lattes. Tell Me That Doesn't Look Amazing by Travis Baldry. He's really well known for, I think, his audiobook narrations. And then he was like, you know what? I'm going to write a book. And it's going to be, it says, a, a novel of high fantasy and low stakes. If that doesn't sound great to you, I don't know what does. We love low stakes. It's about... I'll just read the blurb on the back. Worn out after decades of packing steel and raising hell, Viv the orc barbarian cashes out of the warrior's life with one final score. A forgotten legend, a fabled artifact, and an unreasonable amount of hope lead her to the streets of Thune, where she plans to open the first coffee shop the city has ever seen. So this is somebody who's just tired of all the questing, of all the high stakes hullabaloo of being in a fantasy world. And they're just like, you know what? I wanna, I wanna start a coffee shop and I'm tired of doing all this. Does that just not like reflect everyone's attitude right now? This sounds so good. It's such a nice little like slice of life fantasy book. And I'm so, so, so excited to read it. Um, the cover is amazing. Can't wait to read about an orc who's just trying to serve up some, some coffee. So that's it for the book mail today. We come away with, with quite the haul here. See that? We got some, of course, all the Sandman stuff. Half of them were pretty much Sandman. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. Uh, but some other fun gems in here as well that I'm very, very excited to read. Again, I'm looking for what I should call all of you. My YouTube audience, we're 250 or 60 strong right now. Hopefully that goes up. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe for paying witness to my rippling addiction to buying books and we'll have some fun together on here all right uh head over to bookstagram to vote on that in the near future otherwise have a great one and go buy some books